Hi, I'm John with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember that anytime you work on an appliance, make sure that it is unplugged or the circuit breaker is turned off so there is no chance of electrocution. Also, make sure to turn off the hot and cold water supplies. Today we're going to show you how to install a new drain pump assembly for a Maytag washer. It's a really easy job that only requires a short flat blade screwdriver, a quarter inch nut driver, a 3 8 inch nut driver, a ratchet with extension and 3 8 inch socket, a putty knife, and a pair of pliers. When you open the package you'll get one new drain pump assembly. The reason why you'd be replacing the drain pump is if water leaks out the bottom during use, if the drum won't drain, or if there's a loud noise during operation. You'll need to start the pump replacement by first removing the drive belt. The drive belt is located under the washing machine, so to get access to the belt, we're going to need to tilt the machine back, have a friend hold the machine, or tilt it back and rest it on something secure. The drive belt goes around the pump pulley, motor pulley, and transmission pulley. Remove the drive belt by pulling out on the edge of the belt as you rotate the transmission pulley counterclockwise. Then, remove the old drive belt. Afterwards, tilt down the machine. You'll need to remove the access panel located on the back side of the washing machine. Using a 5 16 inch nut driver, remove the three screws that hold the panel in place. Then, remove the panel. There may be some water left in the hose, so have a towel on hand just in case anything leaks out. Use a pair of pliers to remove the clamp that holds the hose to the pump. Place a towel under the hose that connects to the side of the pump to catch water that will come out when you remove the hose. Use a pair of pliers to remove the clamp Then, pull off the hose. Remove the hose clamp from the water pump. Then, remove the wet towel. Locate the three screws that retain the water pump. Then, use a 3 8 inch nut driver to loosen and remove the screws. Afterwards, remove the water pump assembly. Here's the old washer pump next to the new one. If you already have the new part, great. If not, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. To ease installation, insert the three screws into the mounting holes on the new water pump. Then, Install the new water pump in the washer. Use a 3 8 inch nut driver to tighten the three retaining screws. Position the old hose clamp on the water pump, then install the hose on the pump. Afterwards, reinstall the hose clamp. Reinstall the old hose to the top of the new water pump. Then, install the retaining clamp. Reinstall the back panel. Then, thread in and tighten the three retaining screws. Tilt back the washer. Position the belt on the motor pulley and then on the pump pulley. Put the belt on the edge of the transmission pulley, then rotate the pulley clockwise, which will pull the drive belt into position. Once the drive belt is on, carefully lower down the washing machine. Afterwards, reconnect the power cord, turn on the water supply, check for any leaks, and if everything is fine, then your washer should be ready for use. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. And be sure to check out our other repair videos on our website, 
on our Facebook page and on our YouTube channel.